takes me. And we're back with another with episode. another episode of Let the Freak Speak. I'm Nicholas Fonzola. I'm Nathaniel Lopez. And today we're winging it harder than ever. America's least favorite podcast, as you know. Taking the counterculture to new lows. Morons of absurdity. Masters of obscurity. Let's do this. Let's, do Let's it. get into Let's get it. it. We Let's have concerns. We, we, we have concerned guests. Not guests. Let's just know. get into the spoilers. Spoilers? Yeah. No. Let's, really? Let's dig a little bit. Let's dig a little. Let's dig a little. Okay. Let's dig a little bit into it. Okay. I mean, by the time this comes out, yeah, it's only gonna be like a week or two from now. That's true. But we should, maybe we should just dig right now. No, let's let's dig a little bit into the episode, and then we'll get to the spoilers. Okay. Which are? I'm just kidding. We gotta dig a little bit. Um, what have you been up to? You've been partying like a madman. You're America's last playboy. <laughs> you are knocking them dead at work. You're oh. telling jokes. You're making people laugh. You're growing big old nugs. What's up? How much of that is true? Um, I would say... All of it? All of it. All of it. He's yeah. smashing nugs, smoking <laughs> joints. He's got the ladies wrapped around his fingers, I'll tell you that much. Like, two Fridays ago, I, like, went to the bar by myself. And you didn't come home alone. No, I I, I, I came home alone. After he I was, it was, finished her you, off in the car. I, I, <laughs> so stupid. That's not even true. It's not even the point of this topic. It's, you know, you're a lady killer right now. No, I'm not a lady Your killer. Your name is out there. <laughs> Nick Valenzuela. Can I tell you about professional th- lady killer? Can I tell Joining you- the ranks <laughs> of OJ Simpson. <laughs> Outrage, read it. Oh. Uh can I tell you about when I went to the bar like two Fridays ago? Okay, yeah, let's hear it. So, so you went to the bar. What were you wearing? I was pa- super bored. Paint the picture for me. So it was Friday, you know, just got off of work. Super bored. Super bored. Yeah, had nothing to do. You were sick. Yes. Don't really have any sick, friends yeah. in Tucson right now. What do you mean? Um, I don't really have friends in Tucson. You just have coworkers. Just coworkers and Damn, stuff. And, and like you, usually, you know, you don't want to. Uh, you be, know how p- some people aren't. Yeah, you know, they don't in, hang out with their coworkers. No, on no, the they weekends. don't. They don't go out. You know, or they just don't go to the bar with you. You have friends who go to the bar. Yeah, it's yeah. A, like a post. Some people thing. don't go to the bar, dude. Yeah, we went to the bar yeah. after work today. Yeah. So why are you talking like it's normal to just go to the bar? It's it normal is. for it is you normal. to go to the bar. It's not normal for everyone to go to the bar. See what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, of course. Okay. I go to the bar with people that go okay. to the bar. So let me... It, it is weird to go to the bar with people that are like, yeah, I don't ever do this. But I still went to the bar. Okay, <laughs> so yeah, that's, no, you yeah. can argue that's a little weirder. No. So, well... All yeah, right. Okay, well, I was, uh, I was, you know, I was at home. Um, you know, living by yourself... You could really just, like, be by yourself. So I've been getting used to that. I've been, like, two months in here yeah. going on my third one right now. So, honestly, this is probably the longest I've ever been alone living by myself. Okay. I don't think I ever have. Not being alone because I can always see my brothers and stuff. But, like. Yeah. I think the mo- the longest I was alone was just, like, that last month when Ralph went back to Samuel and I was stuck in Glendale. Yeah. That was probably the loneliest I've been. Mm-hmm. And, honestly. Probably would have killed myself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um. So like, no, and everyone was like busy, nothing really going on. Yeah. So, I just went to a bar downtown, one of the quiet ones. Would you park outside of Tucson? No, I I had to take a lift. Ah. Oh yeah. yeah, you don't have a car. Yeah, <laughs> there and back. What's so that uh, cost? And I drank three beers. What I took was, two what was joints. The cost of a. Uh, a lift from here to downtown. Downtown? That time, I think it was like 12 bucks. 12 bucks? That's fucking crazy. I think so. Yeah, man. Or like maybe 15? Phoenix is yeah. much cheaper lifts. Um, You know why? More, why? more people are doing it. Really? Yeah, of course. That's the reason? Well, like how many people were like, whenever you were going on to it, how many people were around your area? How I many? don't know, but it didn't cost any more when um, I had to leave the bar. Okay. Yeah, so I drank like three beers, had a couple joints, uh, Modelo's. 
They didn't have like anything. Modi's. You were drinking some Modi's. They didn't have any other type of cerveza. They didn't have any other beer. They had other beer, but, but no cerveza. Uh, the Mexican stuff. I think they had a Miller Lite, but I don't it's want Miller Lite. Cerveza, it's beer. Yeah. yeah, I thought so too. Yo, ew, yeah. Miller. But I feel like a lot of Mexicans drink a Miller Lite. Dude, yeah, they drink Bud Light too. There was um, a period where I was seeing a bunch of Mexicans drink Rolling Rock. You know what was nice about drinking at the bar? What? It felt nice that I can, I I like had a job, I had a place, and, and you that were able I can, to go get a couple of drinks, and I'm able to go get a couple of drinks, but also in a way where like I I don't have to get in trouble by like taking an Uber or anything, or like dr- drunk driving home. Um, I love drunk driving home, so you were disappointed. You you love drunk driving home, not far distances. Yeah, far distances. Sucks. Yeah, it's sometimes w- it's worrisome. Sometimes it's nice. Yeah, when you're in the right mood with the right music, it can be. It can. I used to, I used to remember driving home from. I'm not talking about wasted drunk. I'm not talking about. I'm yeah, talking about like, like nice uh, buzz. Nice buzz. Going oh on, yeah, yeah. You know? No, like where you like you're like, like dude. I'll drink a I'll drink a fucking drink like in the car to you, get that nice buzz, so the drive seems more enjoyable. You know, it's like that drunk where you're just like, man, if I do get pulled over, they're gonna. Be, I'm fucked. I'm fucked. If but they like, pull me over, I'm but, fucked. But I don't feel that fucked up. You know. Yeah, like, I think I can get by. Yeah. You're, you're all talking to the cop. You pull. <laughs> you pull a sip out of your beer. It's like, yeah. <laughs> this one's. Oh, this, this. This one's an empty. This is an empty. <laughs> I've been spitting in them. <laughs> Sorry, I just watched you take a second drink from it. Nah, dude, I drink my, my, I dropped my pouch in there. I'm just trying to get it back. I'm slamming it. And it's nice drinking outside. When? At what, a bar. What bar? Did if you it go has to? a nice patio. Yeah, I mean, yeah. so like the whole like drinking just for like, I had a good night's sleep after that too. Well, you didn't overdo it. Yeah. So, like, honestly, the whole night by myself was just quaint. It didn't feel different. Just, ah, yeah. That's how it felt. It felt like no. a sigh of relief. Yeah, it kind of did. Like, I had a good sleep after that. You took that. a bubble bath when you got home? No, I didn't take a bubble bath. <laughs> you put a fucking little mask <laughs> on. Cucumbers over your eyes. That sounds nice. <laughs> take a hot bath up of do that? You have, is, do you have, yeah, a, have bath a bath? Yeah, I have a bath. I have a bath. When's the last time you took a bath? <sighs> That's probably been like since San Francisco. We okay. had a bath there, and I, I I would take a bath every now and okay. then. Taking smoking a joint, taking a bath. That's pretty dope. It's pretty nice. See, the only time I take a bath is whenever I draw my beer. Whenever I'm sick, like that. Oh, like whenever I had the flu that's ra- nice around four twenty. That that was the last time. That's I one took of the bath. reasons why I would take a bath too. But I was like, dude, whenever I had the flu last time, I was showering at least four times a day because showering was like the only thing that felt like. Nice mm-hmm. instead of just like sitting there in no. pain. Yeah. So yeah, I don't, I don't take baths too much. You should probably take more baths when you feel like that, Papa. So you don't have to like so waste pain. all that water. Yeah. Well, yeah. That's you why know? I started taking baths. I was like, I need. Oh, okay. So I like put my iPad on with Hulu. I was watching TV and stuff. You're like, you're gonna join me, Amara, and she's just like, you do bath dumps. And you're like, Cause, yeah, I do. And then, like, you just... When's like, the last time you shit in the bath? Your San Francisco bath water was all gross. <laughs> you you didn't have a job, so you were spending your whole day just in the bathtub. Your ex left for work, and then she came back, and you're still sitting in the bathtub. She's like, have you been in the bath all day? It's like, I got out. Ran out of beer. <laughs> <laughs> Gee, you're all shaking it, drops. You're like, oh, fuck, this is the second one. <laughs> all my empties you, are in you, here. You <laughs> See, that's... I've never been to that point in my life where I just like we. I could, never did that. that we would, could do that in like a backyard pool for sure. Yeah, like we could be like yeah. garbage, dude. Your backyard could, fucking sucks right now. Yeah. Um, when's the it, last time you were down? It in needs my a house? tree. I'm just talking about it has no it shade back there. Used to have two trees. I know. It doesn't. That Guess suck? what? The wind ripped them out. I know. That we're, sucks. We're gonna build a little awning or something like a little mm-hmm. gazebo. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I agree, you should. Because, uh... You need shade back there. Then it's perfect. Yeah. Yeah, it would be nice. I'm it's a nice of, nighttime. Oh, yeah, I love chilling um, in my fucking backyard. And mm-hmm. I, I bought a little inflatable pool, and I was stoked about that, but then my yard was too just too dry and full of stick, like, dry fucking... Yeah. Poked the hole through yeah, it. Yeah, like... So now I have a fucking 
half inflated pool full of water in my backyard that I need to get rid of. Yeah, I was <laughs> disappointed. You're so tired. Dude, I, I am. You, if, you, if you came to my house, you would see how fucking tired I am. You'd just be like, damn. Like this has looked like this for a few day, a few weeks. It's like yeah, I know. It's because like when I come home, I'm exhausted from work and I don't want to fucking do anything else. So your wife's exhausted. I'm not too. gonna. And then like on Saturday, at least you guys will make a good dinner. Oh uh, yeah, sometimes you know, it, you know, it's, it depends. Do you have a dishwasher? Of course, I have a dishwasher. I'm just lazy right now. <laughs> I want to do dishes, man. Just want to add more to the collection. You're getting used to having a house. Of course, I'm getting used to having a house. Yeah, I'm. I'm. I need. I'm. I'm really just waiting for the summer to fucking cool out a little bit, or okay. the mor- the mornings to get a little bit longer, so I can go and I can start doing my yard work again. Okay. Because the monsoons have been coming down good, so my yard, my grass has been growing in my front yard and it's my side yard and stuff. So. You need to get on that. I need to get on that. Fucking the wind's been tearing down branches from my tree in the front yard. I need to get all those thrown away. You know, it's, it's basic house house owner stuff, yeah. you know, yeah. homeowners. Mm-hmm. I came home not too long ago, and there was one of my gates in my backyard, like to my backyard that doesn't have a lock on it. Came into my Came home from getting groceries in Tucson. That gate was just wide open. And I was just like, I walked into my backyard, I pulled my knife out. I was like, I'm... Might have to fucking stab someone right now. No one was back there, but it was just like, it, it was unsettling. It's like, how many times is someone like walking into my backyard? There's a period where I was thinking that someone was living in my little, uh, that little um, shed shed I have in my backyard. Yeah. I thought someone went into it, but the wind was actually just so bad that it ripped the door, one of the doors uh, off the fucking hinges. Really? Yeah. Damn, that would that has been bad though. But you know how I knew that that, did that because the fucking the wind almost ripped up like I had to put a fucking cinder block on the corner of the fucking thing so it wouldn't fall out like look like it's gonna fly away yeah yeah um, <clears throat> all part of owning uh, a house. exactly all part of owning a home <laughs> at least I got walls though I don't have to see my fucking neighbors not that I don't like my neighbors it's just yeah. one of them's an old lady what do they look like one of them is around my little brother's age, and I think it's his him and his family. And we should put down one of them is an old lady that is yeah. really. We should I put think down her definitely address. Definitely nearing the put, end of her yeah. days. Put down her address. Yeah, it's right next to my house. So I don't want to be incriminating. What are we gonna dox my neighbor, mm-hmm. my old lady neighbor? You can take her house, dude. She one time I helped her move something. It's like whenever I first moved in, I helped her move something, and she offered me a bunch of. Beans. She's like, I get these from New Mexico. Holy shit. And I was just like, okay. She's just like. And I didn't think she realized I was married. She's like, they're so beans. She, she's all Yakuza. <laughs> um, she, yeah, she, uh, she like showed me this little thing. She's like, my husband's buried in my backyard. I think it's like his ashes. Oh, okay. There was like a little memorial plaque and stuff. And she's yeah. like, whenever I die, I'm going to be back here too. Holy shit. <laughs> She's like, yeah, unless my kids fucking get rid of it. I'm like, of course they are. They're going to remove that. They're going to sell the house. It's a nice piece of property. It's got a nice little workshop in the back. You could tell the dude that, like, the old, her husband used to be a very, like, a he was a worker. He probably worked yeah. at the mine because I feel like everybody that used to work at the mine has a great set of tools. Yeah. If not, like, workshop. <laughs> you know, my neighbor, my old lady neighbor across the street her husband never met him because, you know, he was dead by the time, like, I was old enough to be going over and, like, helping out her. She had this workshop in her backyard. It was her hus- it was her husband's old workshop, bro. And I was just like, man, you don't ever fucking see that no more. Just dudes' workshops. How often are you seeing that? You yeah, probably could have a good I mean, your, your, your grandpa's got a workshop. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. This is like in a little trailer though, or what? Like what? Yeah, he's always made a little place, and then it would just slowly deteriorate. Which is crazy. It's like just yeah. do it right the first time, and yeah, yeah. What are I, you doing? <laughs> I agree. I agree. He was the like, first time <laughs> he did it. That one kind of fell apart quicker. The second one was a. Uh, it lasted a while. Mm-hmm. Um, I think there just should have been more reinforcements for the floors. Probably. Yeah. I mean, uh, 
Dude, my I remember as a little kid, my dad built a. a sh- that, remember the shed in yeah. our backyard? Yeah, my dad built that one. Okay. Yeah, that pink shed. Yeah. Yeah, my dad built that. Nice. Like I remember the the smoke spice. Smoked spice, smoked spice, smoked weed. Used to get so paranoid, I would smoke, and then I would hear like vehicles creeping down the alleyway, mm-hmm. and I would stop because I would think it's the cops. Because I was like, the cops are fucking getting calls. Like I'm so the, high. the cops are getting calls that someone's smoking weed. They're gonna come to my fucking. They're gonna come down the alley. They're gonna stop because they smell it. They're gonna search around in my yard. They're gonna grab me out of my fucking yard, arrest me. Can you pat imagine? your back. Don't pat me down. Finger on my butt. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Ah, for sure, please. No. Wet willies and all. Wet willies after fingering your ass. <laughs> fucking a hell that, yeah. That would be fucking disgusting. Like, oh <laughs> my god. They're like just the way I like it. Oh, really? And then you're like, ah! Oh! Uh, and you have fucking an ear infection because of poop and saliva. Your he, he, he licks his finger after he finger pops your ass. Oh my god, that's. And nice, then he yeah. jams it and he's all. Yeah. That's crazy. Hell yeah. Dirty cops. <laughs> Dirty cops. Bad boys. Bad boys. Bad boys. What are you going to do to me, bad boys? What? All right. So let's get into the. Wait, wait, but you were just saying something. <laughs> what, what, did, I didn't stop. I don't know. You were, no, I, I thought I thought it was what? like half a thought. What? I we're, thought we were still talking about the thing we were talking about. Before. What? Like workshops? Mm-hmm. I think I carried out my thoughts on workshops. Just you getting high, waiting for that. Yeah, yeah. No, I thought the cops were gonna come oh, okay, finger okay. me. I just thought you had more. Work. Yeah, okay. Yeah, no, no. Yeah. I, I, like I used to get high a lot in that shed. <laughs> what do you want me to say? <laughs> <laughs> I thought you discovered something in there. Getting high. <laughs> we used to do elevator hits. Where it's like you know you like st- you remember doing elevator hits with this? I still want to get people into elevator hits. Where he's like, so you, you you crouch down, and then you take a hit, and then you stand up and inhale, and then you take another hit, and then you spin around. You know how some people, like, do things just out of politeness? That was one of those things I did out of politeness. What, doing elevator hits? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're like, you guys know that this doesn't get you higher, right? Yeah. Uh, like, no, actually, if you spin around, it takes the tri- 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 centripetal force of your brain, and it actually... Tricks you into thinking you're on Molly. <laughs> <laughs> you guys know cheat codes into drugs? Dude, we know cheat codes in everything. <laughs> it's like, how do you think I got this car? It's a fucking military military jet. It's a NASCAR. It's a Nazgul. <laughs> <laughs> Ring rates. <laughs> I wish I could make a Nazgul sound. Oh, that. Squaw! Oh, that. <laughs> <laughs> it's, like, it's almost uh, we did more bird yeah. sound than anything, but it's like what, it's like it's, it's, more, like, it's, it's like, like horse almost. It's like eagle Pokemon sound. It's like when an it's e- like an eagle mixed with uh, the sound of a horse whine. Squaw! What do you think they used <laughs> to make that noise? I wish uh, I wish Peter Jackson was here. I wish uh, he pops up in between us, Peter Jackson. Mm. I'm more of a call a moth, bring giant eagles type of guy. Yeah. 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 Okay. So you're Gandalf. <laughs> that's you. That's who you would. That's who you are. I just don't get it. What do you mean you don't get it? How did that moth tell those eagles? Dude, everybody knows creatures with a gift of flight can converse. You're silly. Oh, you're shit. Dumb. <laughs> oh, damn. It was all an analogy for World War II. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I think it was World War One. <laughs> it was all an analogy for World <laughs> War Two. Yeah, your precious Frodo. No, R- World War One, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Your precious Frodo. Yeah, it's a, that's a British soldier doing the Queen's work, baby. <laughs> Killing Krauts. Mm-hmm. Ooh, mm-hmm. were they Krauts during the time? I don't. I think that's just a derogatory term for oh, uh, Germans. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm saying it like it means nothing. Because guess what, dude? The Germans can suck my dick. Wasn't World War I? USA. USA. We had to come in there and spank your guys' ass twice. Well, this first time, I'm pretty sure it was more of a... Just showing our dicks. Just showing our dicks. Second time was 
You know, we gotta stop someone from showing their dick. We we gotta stop someone from trying to fucking yeah. change mi- think miles per hour to n- kilometers. N- number <laughs> number one was like, you know, we all got dicks. Let's show them, and everyone was showing them. Number two, you know, eventually everyone stopped showing their dick because you know, yeah, some, some of, people some had of the other, dicks. some of the other people were just like, we don't have yeah. a big dick, but yeah. we've got many small dicks. Yeah. But number th- and we won't stop. And number two wasn't happy that they had a small dick. They wanted a big dick. So they, they of course, were, that's why they, they had gonna, they had a million dicks. They were going to change the average of dicks. Of course, by decimating all the others. Bigger dicks. Exactly. You yeah. get rid of the bigger dicks. You have a smaller dick, and then wow. that becomes the new average. What a disrespectful way to talk about. Them. <laughs> hey, I'm not. We're not specifying who we're talking about. We're okay. just talking about the contestants of war. Yeah. And yeah, that was I, a, that I, was the I, last yeah. time we were champions. Then we got into some mucky political stuff. Remember whenever like we were doing stuff because it was all moral. Remember that war, the uh, the War of Ages. No, uh, Roosevelt was uh, the Rough Rider. Yeah, going against the Mexicans. Isn't it crazy I believe how that he, was yeah. the Spanish American War. Isn't it crazy how he, he didn't like Mexicans? Dude, you know how many people didn't like Mexicans? Yeah, isn't it crazy? Not really. It's funny. It's funny. It, what, it's funny because it funny came from me, the Spaniards and the natives. What's even funnier than me? Well, of course, because it's like, dude, you're just like a different yeah. version of us. Yeah, for the, yeah. the natives are like, you guys yeah. wish you guys were like us. <laughs> you guys are just the the bastard children <gasps> of the, of our, uh, you know, wrongdoing. Not, then, not of their wrongdoings, but of what was done wrong to them. And then Americans thought of us as just like terrible, just liars and. You know, lazy people. Yeah. Although we were stealing their jobs somehow. Yeah, yeah. So we were we were good at working. At least we wanted to work. Of course, we wanted money. We wanted a good life. You know, we yeah. had fucking people to support. What's crazy to me is like whenever people hate Mexicans mm-hmm. in Mexican areas. Like, I don't understand people that hate Mexicans in Arizona. Mm-hmm. And I don't understand people that hate Mexicans in like New Mexico or Texas. Hey man, you hate what you see, right? I guess. Yeah. Do, do you hate what you see? I see a lot of Mexicans. I know that. And what does that make you feel? A lot of hate. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Nikki's one. Nikki's one of them. <laughs> no, I love Mexicans. Of course you do. I, I like seeing, honestly, love seeing a good Mexican fan. I was telling someone this the other day. I was just like, man, why do they? I was just like, it's crazy how, like, in, for us as Mexicans, we do have to, like, populate these, like, worst developed areas that don't get enough attention from our local governments. Yeah. But oh, so many nice cars. It looks like shit, but there's a lot of nice cars. Well, I mean, that's not and just, then, that doesn't have to do with just Mexicans, bro. You go to San Manuel and you drive through the trailer park mm-hmm. and you'll see some of the nicest yes. cars. <laughs> but that's yeah. that's literally ah. just because they were like, ah. oh, I, I'm paying my rent yeah. just fine. Yeah. I want a nice but, fucking no, car. That's, I even said the same thing. I was like, you go a trailer park filled with Mexicans, nice cars. <laughs> I mean, their trailers are probably nice too, bro. I've seen, yeah. I've seen people yeah. like... People have made trailers their homes, bro. Like, they've put in work. They put a porch on their yeah. fucking trailer, bro. Made it look super yeah. nice. Add-ons and yeah. stuff. That's what I also mean when I say they give us these, like, bad places, but we make, make them, them look nice. Yeah, we make but them like, home. You know, it looks dingy in a way, but everything's nice because, you know, you go into the store and it, you're just like, man, these people really know how to take care of it. And that's what makes me really happy about going to, like, Mexican-owned places that like aren't, like... said he is. Yeah, and all that, you know? Because they're clean. It's better than you fucking. Know? I don't know where the circle. I, I, I don't know where the dirty and stuff came from, but apparently, you know, probably just different styles of life than others were used to. You know, what was a standard for some might have been I different to I others. I don't blame the Mexicans in Mexico, man. You know, we all got to deal with what we got. Exactly. Yeah. I mean. Man, we're so Mexican. Why did we get into this conversation? Because how Mexican your your dad is. He's so poor and Mexican. At he one was, point. yeah. I mean, he was you part know, of a l- impoverished town. That's awesome how your dad taught you how to be poor and Mexican. <laughs> but then also, you know, make it successful. Because yeah, that's, that's what Mexicans that's cool also thing. do. It's crazy how hard Mexicans c- can work from being poor. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> Well, I mean, that's more of the inspiration. Yeah, you know? it's nice. It's, it's almost good. like you know, you know, it's like the American dream. Yeah, you know, 
make it. Do Mexicans successful. are they the last ones to have it? Maybe. Maybe. I, I mean, if that and Brazilians, my dad would, and my dad, and my dad would argue uh, this. He'd be like, "I'm yeah. American." Yeah, me too. I, my dad would say that. Be like, "I'm uh-huh. American too, but I'm also Mexican." Yeah, I'm Mexican American. That's what my grandpa would say. What? My he, grandpa. He would just be like, "I'm American." Yeah. Yeah, because they because. Being like being proud Mexicans was a little bit different back in the day for them, mm-hmm. you know. You'd say that back in the day to certain people, and they'd fucking be yeah. offended by it. Be like, "You're Mexican? Well, I'm fucking not, <laughs> <laughs> and I don't like you." Yeah, yeah. My friend doesn't like you <laughs> my either. Friend doesn't like you either. Uh, then fucking, <laughs> yeah, like, great. Chewy, get it. come on, get up, Chucky. Chewy, <laughs> the only Mexican it's in outer space. Fucking R2D2. Mm-hmm. R2D2. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's right. He's also a Mexican. Yeah. And he whistles. That was a fleet best part. I was uh, seeing, you know how they say Mexicans love Dragon Ball Z? Yeah. Um, I saw this, uh, like, little video, and they were in the strip club. And these women and these yeah. men were all watching Dragon Ball Z. Dragon Ball Z, and they were all paying attention. Like, like the whole bar had stopped just to pay attention. She's all hanging upside down and, from the um, pole, watching. It. All I can think was just like, man, if you, yeah, if you grow up during the same time as like just people in general, no matter the occupancy, and you guys just had this relation of like watching this show, like, yeah, yeah, it's all gonna capture your eyes all in the same way. I thought that was very interesting to think about. What a bunch of Dragon Ball Z fans in a strip club. Well, anything like captivated just, by, you know, it doesn't matter how old you get. Good cartoons are good cartoons, yeah, dude. Yeah, like you can watch an episode of uh, Tom and Jerry. Oh, of course, on. Tom yeah. and Jerry is wonderful. Yeah, like something could capture your eye. See, what's even crazier about no matter what. Tom and Jerry is that like there's no. It's all just like it's a mute. Like, that was one of the cartoons that was just a, a form of entertainment through music as well. Yeah, orchestra. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Same mm-hmm. with, like, Looney Tunes, bro. You watch Looney Tunes, and you're like, oh, shit, dude, there, there's so like, much there's so much music involved in it. Yeah, they actually had orchestras. People, yeah. yeah, performing music just for the sanctity of the show. Well, I mean, back in the day, they used to do that, too, you yeah. know? Like, I mean, they've, they've come back to it with, like, like oh, they're, uh, they're showing the movie with a live orchestra. Yeah. Those are fucking cool, too, by the way. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I went and watched Indiana Jones. I know. I want to see one. Yeah. I mean, st- obviously, Star Wars is the one that yeah. everybody wants to see. I want to see the Star but Wars. But, I mean, like, uh, there's, a there's, good, there's uh, other ones with good score. There's um the Lord of the Rings. Those would be sick Those as Those ones are fucking crazy, I bet. <laughs> Take some acid. Dun, dun. And then wish you hadn't taken any acid because it was only a three I hour wish movie. I didn't take this. I'm peeking the whole time. <laughs> I'm screaming, I'm falling. <laughs> and I'm just like this. Fuck you fools. <laughs> okay, let's and talk I'm about all the, the Let's talk about the real spoilers. All right. Spoiler alert. Spoilers. Yeah, for uh Deadpool and Wolverine. Yeah. So where did you see it? Uh, fucking Alcon. Alcon Century Mall? Theater. Century. Uh, we saw it XD 3D. You saw it in 3D. Yeah, I told David. I mean, I didn't get a headache like usual times, yeah. but I told him like, honestly, all you need is XD. What is the difference between XD? XD just uh picture quality. Extreme definition. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I don't think it's any more different than IMAX either. So like. Either I just like the picture. Honestly. Okay. I I do think the picture says difference. It's a little but like, crispier. Um, from a standard. Okay. So like IMAX and XD are, yeah, are yeah, really yeah. nice. Obviously, just well, it's just bigger screens too. Yeah, and that's cool too. Uh, they have better sound systems in there. Okay, so you watched it. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. And would you watch it? I watched it at the Harkins across the street from the mall. Uh, the at the Tempe Town Mall. How'd you watch it? Just regular standard. Standard. I think so. Yeah. Yeah, they had a dude. They had a fucking Spanish dub playing. That's awesome. It's like, what the fuck? Good for them. The Mexicans deserve it. Hell yeah, dude. Um, uh, so yeah, dude. Dr- How'd it go? I was gonna say Dragon Ball. I liked it. I thought it was fucking awesome. Yeah, felt like a real comic. It was movie. late as fuck. Whenever I went watch the really? eleven, I went watch the eleven o'clock showing because I like you know we oh. played and then I went back to the hotel and then me and Mar were like. I came PM? back a little bit earlier. Yeah, 11 at night. Oh, shit. 
Yeah, so we saw it uh like twelve fifty five in the afternoon. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was, must have been enjoyable. Yeah, it was nice. I was just tired, and honestly, the part where Ryan, uh, where Ryan Reynolds was like, uh, he's like, we're we're wrapping up towards the final act. I was like, thank fucking god. I know. I was like, this is good. I was like, this has been very enjoyable. Yes, it has been. But very also, enjoyable. I'm like, I'm, I'm fucking tired. You shouldn't have watched it late like that. No, and like I'm gonna go back and watch it again, and I'll probably enjoy it much more. But it was so good. It was fucking awesome. Like. Um, I like how he went back and desecrated the old Logan. Yeah. And he just like, I don't know when I, when I saw him put on the, just like the claws, the, the claws I, I just thought me, I was like, this is going to be a good movie. Oh yeah. And from then on, it just didn't disappoint. And then it went from like, okay, well there's the timeline. And then they showed the sacred timeline, which wasn't even his timeline. They just gave that just as like a reference point. Yeah. Because he was part of like, Ten oh nine. He was like uh, ten thousand nine. Like one zero zero um, six or something. Yeah, it was something was like one, that. One at six nine. Or and something? they were just like, you know, you know, you're you're the anchor to your universe. No, he's not. He isn't. Oh, the Wolverine was. Wolverine was. Yeah, and he and, died. And he died. And yeah. So he, they're gonna try to give him a new world because yeah. he has a potential, but everyone else. In his life, oh, will fucking you know balls are sticking. Will be life. gone, yeah, because they're not part of the universe that he's exactly. going to go into, and they're moving that to what is Marvel and Disneyland. The amount of Disney jokes that they got away with, also of in this movie, was of course awesome. I mean, funny ass jokes, great great pop culture references. You very you only have a few things to say. You really don't I mean, I don't like, know what I don't know what sounds else to like say. you were more tired in this film uh, than can, you should have been no, because I like can, it's just this. I could be like I could just talk about how cool the cameos were. Yeah, dude. No, they were. They were fucking awesome. And what I really liked is I like how they were just like let's it's like I want to give them an end to their story. Yeah. So like Yeah. Well, who's your favorite yeah. cameos? Who do you think my favorite cameo was? Well, there were so many. It was Channing Tatum. Channing Tatum. Why? Because I love Gambit. Okay. Gambit's fucking awesome. Honestly, though, when I saw Elektra 2, I was like, what the fuck? Yeah, that was pretty cool. So that was sick as hell. And, when, dude, when I saw Blade, I was like, I did yeah. not expect yeah, that. I love Blade. At all. I loved it. Imagine if they brung Nicolas Cage's Ghost Rider. See, that's what, dude, I was waiting for that. Yeah. And then I was waiting for... Because um, I liked that movie. Dude, Ghost Rider was sick as fuck. The first one's great. <laughs> See, and that's... Well, so I think Sony owns... Still owns it. Ghost Rider. Okay. So, I mean, I was watching an Easter egg video, and it was, like, talking about how, like, all the Easter eggs, and there were Spider-Man Easter mm-hmm. eggs, but they couldn't actually show Tom Holland because if they did, they would have had to get, they would have had to pay for the yes. rights from fucking yeah, Sony. Sony. Yeah, So they s- kind of skipped out on that, which is crazy. But the Fantastic Four yeah, that's references gonna... and bringing back Johnny Blaze. Dude. That was that, What about that post credit scene? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Where it's all filming yeah. him? <laughs> He's like, gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> ah, ah. See, that's what I mean. That movie just yeah. was really good in that respect. That It didn't feel trolly like the first two. It felt like it was like fourth wall breaking well, like, in. No, no. This one had heart for sure. Yeah. And, you know, Ryan Reynolds says he got a lot of inspiration from the movie Planes, Trains, and Automobiles. Really? Yeah, well, so Ryan Reynolds, being from Canada, loves John Candy. Okay. Because John Candy is... Yeah. He's number one. He's the fucking hero of goat. Canada, bro. He's a goat. So, um, even, like, there's... Why even, don't you have kids? There's even an Easter egg... That's an even longer story. <laughs> With him and Macaulay Culkin. So, there's an Easter egg of um, from planes, trains, and automobiles throughout the Deadpool series, mm-hmm. where he's reading the same book... That John Candy's character is reading in Planes, Trains, and Automobiles, what the which fuck? is the Canadian Mounted. Okay, and I was just like, "That's cool as fuck," because you know I love John Candy. Mm-hmm. Planes, Trains, and Automobiles is, is also uh, like that's one of my favorite movies too. Yeah, it didn't uh, feel corny with those like scenes either. Like they felt more genuine when he was talking to like you know Kevin, uh, what's his name in the show, Buddy. Oh, that's a uh, that's not Kevin Feige. That's a uh, that's. John Favreau. Yeah, John Favreau. Why yeah, did happy. I say? Why did I say? <laughs> Kevin. Yeah. John Favreau, yeah. when they were doing his scene with, like, you know, him telling him he can't be an Avenger, yeah. I really liked that scene a lot. Yeah. Yeah. 
I also liked how they left the fucking little staples in his head yeah. with the little pieces <laughs> of hair. Yeah. Or dude, fucking uh, uh, Pete Bull. Mm-hmm. Dude, Pete was fucking. Peter was hilarious in that movie. Um, I know, dude. Peter was just like he, he's a like he's all talking about his nipple. Uh-huh. <laughs> he's like, I, yeah, I knew. Someone. Like you got a Peter, <laughs> like Peter, Peter, it's Peter. <laughs> or what about whatever uh, nice pool? Yeah, whatever, nice pool was whatever, good. Whatever. He's like, I can make references too. The proposal. <laughs> he's like, what the fuck? What he's like, so that? when does your regeneration kick? And he's like, regeneration. <laughs> and then he's just taking him. He's like, what's on your mind? But he's not getting shot. <laughs> that, was, that was good. Uh, you know, obviously, uh, Ryan Reynolds' wife was. Dude. She was the. She was oh, well, late, so she it was, was. She was Lady Pool. She looks so good in that. Of course you think that. But. um, Think of Dog Pool. Fucking. When they put Wolverine in the mask. I was dude, so dude. That shit was so fucking happy. sick, bro. The fucking cross part with Wolverine, that was cool. Any scene with Wolverine, and honestly, from all the fight scenes between dude, Deadpool and Wolverine, those what, were my favorite. What fight about scenes. the montage whenever he's he's looking for different Wolverines, and then the fucking yeah. Wolverine in the brown, the brown dude, and orange suit? He looks so fucking like, cool, like, dude. Fuck, dude. Finally, when they did that or, <laughs> little cameo, that's yeah. when you're just like, they should just make it a movie now. You know, like, that had so much potential in just that scene. What about the fucking little Wolverine? Dude, that was a good, <laughs> that was a good joke. I mean, they actually did, small. Because he's supposed to be, yeah, like, 5'3". Yeah, three. yeah he's, he's a short guy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So fucking he's like funny. He's, like, 5'3 and weighs 300 pounds just because of the anime yeah, team. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, dude. So no, much. No, it was, it, was, it was good and, as fuck, bro. Uh, Channing Tatum, you know, he did get the role and everything. It just it, fell yeah, through. Exactly, exactly. So when he got to do that... You could tell he put that effort into it. And yeah. He just played the part well. And people are like, killed it. some people are saying, oh, I feel differently. But honestly, I liked it a lot. No, I thought I dug, he did I dug it. it as fuck, bro. Like, even he looked like Gambit. Even, even like, the guy who played Gambit in the Wolverine Origins movie, I was still excited about that. Because I like Gambit. The, I like the character of Gambit yeah. is one of probably one of my favorite Marvel characters. Yeah. It's like Daredevil. And Gambit, for some reason. Both characters that have, like, red eyes for the most part. I like part. how the, they didn't, like, do anything silly. Like, they just gave you Gambit. That was the good thing. Like, yeah. they gave you comic version Gambit. They didn't say, oh, you know, here's our version of it. They gave you the actual costume no, dude, the, as if dude. it was a real cosplay of Gambit. And just the fact, dude, the, 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 the fighting sequences with mm-hmm. him. Mm-hmm. So sick as fuck. X-23 is sick as fuck, too. Yeah, I do like X-23. I thought it was cool that they brought her back. Yeah. Because I didn't think about getting rid of her, but I was just like, that would make sense. I they mean, yeah, she kind of like, Because, uh, you know, as they're saying, yeah. you know, the anchor being dies, the universe ceases yes. to be. Yeah. Which is an interesting concept to say mm-hmm. once someone stops being a character, the whole universe but is it, gone. To show the fact that they were like, you know, yes, the character's dead, but let's pay homage to it. Let's bring back... Blade, let's do Electra. Let's do, you know, talk about characters that haven't been around in yeah. a while. You know, let's bring Cat back, but it's fucking Johnny Blaze. And dude, dude the, all that hype, you thought you're going to see no, some dude, fucking No, dude, and, and what's America. crazy <laughs> is, you, you know, if you look at the outfit, bro, mm-hmm. there's like little small details where it looks like it's like a faded a Captain America American yeah. flag. Yeah. And dude, I knew it was going to be Johnny Blaze, bro. And I like how they did. Uh, accurate comic thing where they were just like, yeah, Johnny Blaze couldn't beat Pyro. It would oh, only make yeah, sense, no, yeah, of course. because Johnny Blaze comes from fire, but Pyro controls fire. So like the way they play that off comically for the whole movie, they really did a lot for. What it. about fucking Toad? Yeah, Toad was Toad cool was as back. fuck. Dude, Sabretooth just got murked like a yeah. motherfucker. <laughs> like it only made sense. Yeah. You know, they didn't waste any time. Um, I. My favorite fight scenes were uh, Deadpool and Wolverine. Yeah. They had like three long ones. I think that that last fight scene, not the last one, but the one where like all of them are going to go. Uh, what the fuck is uh, Xavier's sister's name? Nexus or yeah, Nebula? Is, was it's it not Nebula. N- Nora or Nova? Nova? No, yeah, Nova. I think it was Nova. Yeah. Uh, whenever they go to go fucking fight her, and then you know mm-hmm. the whole squads with them. Mm-hmm. That was cool. That was I think that was the best fight scene because you know seeing Gambit fucking when, fighting and Blade, mm-hmm, yeah, and Elektra yeah. and just all of them fucking fighting together. That shit was when dope. She's like, I'm gonna flick my bean to the box set <laughs> after this, like, because she's just talking shit. <laughs> yeah, she, the way they like displayed her powers too of just like fucking them over mm. was 
cool, honestly. I liked her as a villain. I didn't think it was going nowhere. Oh, yeah. You know? Um, when she was like, I found this from a sorcerer who came by, and they were talking about Doctor Strange, yeah. one of the variants. Yeah. That was cool. Like, they played everything well with it and what they had. Um, Blade, from the cameos, just took my breath away. I wanted to scream when I saw him. Yeah. yeah. No, me and Mara looked at each other. We were all, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then, you know, just the line that he said, he's like, I thought you, I, he's like, yeah, yeah, I'm retired. And he's all, retarded. <laughs> 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 I was like, yeah, that sounds like fucking. Um, uh, Wesley Snipes, when he, when he's, he said something, he's like, let's go ice skate him, motherfucker. When he was just like doing the blade thing, yeah. I was like, man, he still got it. Of course like, he still got it. There, may, a, dude. there are many people that still believe he is the only blade. Yeah. Even though I, I guarantee the new blades are going to be sick, but they're not going to be they're not going to be in the same essence. When uh, Electra was just like, she's like, "This is from Punisher, like something, something," and then he's just like, he's like, "Isn't there like six of those?" He, he's, <laughs> like, he's like, "Which one is there? Like six of them?" Yeah, yeah. Ah, ah. Oh, that was a good one too. Uh huh. Because uh-huh. that's another thing too. I was thinking, I was like, "Where's Frank Castle? Where, yeah. Like, where's you know, where's the old one?" It was fun that it didn't just go into cameos; it went into dialogue. Yeah. Of like how they were expressing how expansive the universe has been, and oh, like exactly. everyone's and like what happened whenever they ended up in the void. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I mean, fucking interesting way to tie universes together, dude. Fucking Calvarine. Which one? Hey, Henry Cavill is oh, the dude, one. dude, that dude, was cool. That was fucking. <laughs> I thought that crazy was crazy cool because everybody wants to see Henry Cavill. Uh-huh. Is, People that like there was <laughs> when he like did the thing, he was just like, <laughs> I was just like, fuck yeah. <laughs> I thought that uh, was so cool. <laughs> and then, uh, so, yeah, dude, that I don't even like Henry Cavill. No, I don't like Superman. But like when yeah. I saw Henry Cavill do Wolverine, well, I was dude, just like, dude, Henry that's... Cavill's a good fucking actor. I was like, that's Wolverine. I was like, I anyone... think Henry Cavill's more fit for that than Superman. Whoever does like. Whoever, if you get to do Wolverine, that just makes you cool. Yeah, well, that's the thing is, you play a fucking dope ass character, yeah. you're yeah going to be considered. If you play a dope ass character, well, good. Well, me, you know, me like and my why, brother, why do you think Logan? Yeah, like, why do you think Hugh Jackman has been Wolverine for so long? Yeah, is because he's done it so well that everybody's too scared that fans are going to hate anything else. Well, I was telling David, I was just like, you know. The Superman movies are not as popular, if you think about it, as the Wolverine movies. Like, the Wolverine movies are so yeah, cool well, and fun, and, like, they just grab your attention every time. Um, yeah, I mean, it's... He a, just does really good with that character. Which is crazy, because, you know, you can you can kind of put him in the same essence as Superman in the sense of, like, Invincible. Yeah. Yeah. Because, you know, like, Wolverine could get fucked up. Yeah. But he'll come back. Yeah. He's like a American hero. Yeah. He is 200 years old. Even though he's Canadian. Yeah, yeah he is. Wolverine Canadian. is Canadian. Yeah, Wolverine is Canadian. Um, Damn, he's American. He's, hero he's, too. he's a, Canadian. He's a, he's, Cana- American. he's a Canadian played by an Australian. Hell yeah. It's fucking funny. And then, how do you feel about uh, the new Doctor Doom announcement? I mean, honestly. I want to see what happens because my only thing is if they're going to do a super villain movie, uh-huh. make it a super villain movie. Like make Dr. Doom the yep. most evil, diabolical motherfucker alive, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, it being, you know, Tony Stark or just Robert Downey Jr. in general. Yeah. We'll just have to see, but like I, I kind of do wish they would have picked someone different. Yeah, you know? me too. I wish they would have brought some someone new to the yeah MCU, but mm-hmm. I guess we'll see how they portray it and yeah. you know what they do. Yeah, but we'll see. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Yeah. We'll literally see. But Doctor Doom, honestly, like that's one of my favorite villains. Yeah, yeah. Doctor Doom's pretty cool. Like if his like his lore. For like Marvel, mm-hmm. next to like Magneto's, I, just I would say really, Magneto's probably one I, of my favorites. I just like their Ugh, their sil- their super villainy, you know. They're super villainous. Uh huh. Uh huh. Probably someone from the X Men. I don't know. 
The X-Men always find, like, humans that are trying to stop mutants. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, Sentinels and shit. Bullseye. Bullseye is a pretty crazy villain. Spider-Man has some pretty sick villains. Spider-Man has great villains. Spider-Man has, like, the Sinister Six. six yeah, and the Sinister Six changes. Yep. Yeah. Mysterio, fucking... Mysterio's crazy. Shocker's dope. Yeah, but like I was saying, uh, fucking... That movie's honestly hasn't... No Marvel movie has been good since No Way Home. No Way Home was so good. No Way Home was really good. You, and, uh, you rewatch it, man. It hits oh, still I, the I, same. I rewatched it a few times. Yeah, dude. That movie still hits. Um, Yeah, dude. I don't think... Uh, I don't think I watched an, a Marvel movie in theaters since... Yeah. I mean, Werewolf by Night was dope as fuck, but that was like a special. I hope they do Moon Knight. I hope they bring him I, for the Avengers. I hope they do that, or I hope they bring do like a Midnight Suns <laughs> okay. thing where it's like, you know, like Bold. Blade, and they're they're fighting more like demonic presences. Maybe, uh, um, It'd be like Blade, Scarlet Witch. Maybe um, Daredevil and Punisher. Well, I believe uh, Frank Castle is going to make an appearance in uh, the Deadpool Born Again. Not Deadpool, uh, Daredevil, Born Again. Really? Yeah. Is it still so? It's still gonna come out. I don't know if it's a movie or if it's a series now. Well, I just hope they put Daredevil in. I think they people wanted to do the polling for a Ugh. Deadpool Spider Man movie over. now, and honestly, I th- I think it would be a perfect chance to get Tom yeah. Holland and Ryan Reynolds. I think they would make a good combo with seeing this movie. I think it has good potential if they did that. That would be cool. Mm-hmm, that would be cool. Or just like, you know, a star-studded superhero movie where we also get to see Deadpool fighting alongside fucking... Spider-Man. Spider-Man and mm-hmm. X-Men. But I really feel like the next Spider-Man movie is going to be a, like a Sinister Six type of movie. I think it'll be sick as fuck. Or maybe it's just be... I think like that might be the introduction into... Mr. Negative, maybe something like Venom that. Venom into the MCU. Yeah. It'd be sick. We'll have to wait... Yeah, we'll see what happens. Because the last Venom movie wasn't Yeah, good, Let so There Be Carnage. Yeah, but they did that whole thing with Tom Holland at the end of No Way Home. With yeah, Venom. yeah, I'm trying to... Yeah. So, we'll see. Yeah, we'll see. All right, that's Let the Freak Speak. Thanks, everyone. Spoiler talk at the end. For, for coming and stopping by. We appreciate all the views. And please leave a comment. And like leave more. a fucking comment. Um, let us know what you would like to see. Let us know. And, you know, more content on the way. More content. Anything you'd like to add? Yeah, I just want to say the same thing that Nick said. Mm-hmm. Follow us on everything. Like and subscribe. Rate us on Apple Podcasts, Spotify. Help us out, mm-hmm. man. Share this shit. Mm-hmm. Share it. You can do it. Taking the counterculture to new lows, winging it harder than ever. It may be least f- America's least favorite podcast, but we're morons of absurdity and masters of obscurity. We're out of here. Peace. Let the freaks speak. <laughs>